Hi, I'm Angela from Belizing.com and I'm about to head to the town hall and speak with Mr. Julio Valdez. He's going to talk a little bit more about safety and traffic here in the twin towns of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. So let's go. I am Julio Valdez, presently the senior traffic officer attached to the municipal San Ignacio Santa Elena Municipal Authority Traffic Department. The objectives of the traffic department are to improve the security, training of traffic guardians, customer service, and ensure the overall better service to the community within San Ignacio and San Elena. Within the Twin Tongues, we, we, have, we have several commuters. We have the commuters bus, as well as we have shuttles, taxis, and other in private transportation within both towns. Our present into the into between this area is the George Price Highway. The other one we have the the, the, the Golden Highway that travels north up to Corozal. We have the Hummingbird, which travels from Benopan and to Stan Creek, and we have the Southern Highway from Stan Creek and to Punta Gorda. In Belize, you must drive on the right hand side of the road. Unless you overtake it, it's then that you proceed to the left. You cannot, um, cannot cause unnecessary obstruction. The other vehicle that if you need to stop, pull to the side, don't block the road, give wheels and in intersections. The wrong aboards, we have to learn how to use the wrong aboards. Uh, people must understand that are you already on the road, you have the right of way. You must yield to persons, vehicles, uh, vehicles already on the wrong aboard. So you ask that to take precaution, drive with necessary precaution within towns. We have uh, schools within the municipalities, colleges, that we ask drivers to be very precautious when driving with things like Nassau and Santa Elena. We are also abide by international traffic signs. So we are aware that people visiting the, within the, 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 the municipalities like Nassau and Elena are unaware of the traffic rules. We just ask all drivers, tourists as well, to precaution, abide by the rules of the roads and to notice traffic signs on the side of the road. In law, driving driving with foreign license is accepted. You are allowed to drive within the country of Belize for a period of three months. Driving at night, it depends on the weather conditions, the fogs, the darkness, and we always ask drivers to be precautious. We are asking, asking drivers, safe driving at night, do not use those LED lights. It causes problems to other drivers. We are the, the town hall because of, 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 they are in charge. We are in the program of trying to improve the road standards, putting signs on all streets that are for the tourists so anybody can aware which street they are going to find or where, how the street means. We have the pedestrian crossing between our major roads within the Sagnacho and Santa Elena. Those pedestrians, I'm sure that internationally it can be easily identifiable because we have signs on the side, we have the paintings on the roads, and we ask pedestrian to use the pedestrian crossing to ensure your safety, getting from one side of the road to the other side. At the same time, we ask the drivers to respect the pedestrian crossing, right? to give pedestrians the right of way whenever they approach the pedestrian crossing. And the traffic wardens are dressed in a white top with a black pants, and we'll always see them with a the, uh, vest. They can, there's no problem in ask, stopping and asking them questions for assistance. There's always out there for assistance. Also to give information to anybody who requests information in relation to traffic. We do checkpoints, we conduct checkpoints, we turn them to ensure that the, 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 the road, road, road of all vehicles, taxis, private vehicles, ensure that they are well rolling, ensure that all the lighting are in working condition to ensure traffic safety. And that's our forefront that this municipality that we're trying to ensure that we have traffic free within this municipality. For taking vehicles, rental vehicles across the border, I'm not sure what is the procedure of the Guatemalan Authority. In our side, I'm sure that you need to take the, the I think so there's a form, there's a few paperwork that needs to be taken from which agency you're renting the vehicle. So you must have the proper documents from the agency to ensure that they allow you to take the vehicles across. So we ask all people or their drivers to ensure that they comply with the 
rules and regulations of traffic. Well, I hope you learned something useful and helpful from this. Remember to always drive safely here in Belize and let's go Belizeing!